Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. You'll never have the sacred stone. <laughs> oh, this you crazy mother. Welcome back to my channel. So this is the makeup look I'm doing today. It's got three different types of eyeliner just because, you know, I ain't no basic bitch. You're embarrassing me. I hope you guys like it and let's jump straight into it. So my skin's been feeling a little bit drab lately, so I'm going to be using a radiance boosting primer just to give a little bit more glow and liveliness into my skin. But first, I'm going to use the Benefit Professional over my open pores. And for foundation today, I'm going to be taking my Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation in 4.5 and my Damp Beauty Blender. Man, I'm gonna be glowing from out of space. And using the tip of my beauty blender to go around the forehead and in between my brows, because I've already got those on to save time in the toot. Toot meaning toot oil. There. For today, I want a full coverage concealer under my eyes and lots of highlighting. So I'm going to use the Adri One Concealer by Maybe It's Maybelline and the MAC Prep and Prime in Light Boost to highlight. Come through with that be so natural. <laughs> We're gonna use it as a base too. And taking my damp beauty blender. And now I'm just setting the concealer and the highlighter with any light colored powder. So I would say probably two shades lighter than your powder that you set your whole face with. And now setting the whole face with I'm using the Camera Finish Powder in a look 4, which as I said is two shades darker than the powder that I used to set my under eyes. And next I'm using my favourite bronzer, the Napoleon Matte Bronze, to warm up my face. Now I'm going to take my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Dark Deep and I'm going to make this a little bit darker through the contour. It's probably a bad idea, Rachel. I'm using my MAC 109. So I kind of get my shape with the Napoleon Matte Bronzer and then I go in and define with this one here. Just a little bit. This one's a lot darker, so if you're going to warm up your whole face and get your shape with this, you would want to be very tanned, unlike a month old. Don't neglect the ears. It looks very unnatural if you've got a big brown strip coming down here and then little, little white ears. My ears aren't white. Should I contour my nose today? Okay. I've shown you guys this before. It's a MAC the Pro Conceal in medium. Just a little eyeshadow brush. Wish me luck. <laughs> That's so crooked. That's better. Man, Carly Bible contours her nose so perfectly. Tip of mine goes out more on this side. Dabba dabba dabba. I didn't do a very good job of that. Oh well. Hey, I'm a first timer. Let's put some blush on. I'm going to be using MAC T2 
tenderling. And with MAC tenderling, I'm going to be getting the majority of my shape. I find I do this a lot with makeup. I like to get the brush hairs off my face. I like to get the majority of my shape with my lighter color first and then go in with a stronger color second. Okay, so I've got a slight amount of color of my cheeks, <laughs> except for that contour. And now I'm going to go in with Models Prefer Blush Desk to Date. Tapping off onto a tissue because this stuff is really bright. Just blending that into the contour. And then I like to get my powder brush and just kind of soften it and blend it out. I'm on to highlight. Placing that on the biggest part of the cheekbone and blending it into the blush. If you have open pores, try not to take your highlight around the cheek area because it will emphasize your open pores. Okay, so for this eye look, it doesn't involve intricate eyeshadow, which is what I love oh so much. It is um, focusing on the eyeliner, so it's kind of like a three-part eyeliner. Therefore, I'm going to keep the eyeshadow nice and simple. For eyeshadow, I'm just using this Mosaic Bronzer by Napoleon, and I'm going to swirl all of the colors together to create the contour for my eyeshadow. I've just got to touch up my brows because they are annoying me. I try and do my brows first because it saves time in the tutorial because you've all seen it a million times. But they're just, I can't finish them until I've got some makeup on. Call me crazy. This is the Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade in Chocolat. We're going back into this one and we're using this darkest shade right here. And we are defining that crease. And then grab a clean blending brush to just blend that section. I'm going back into this concealer palette and I'm taking this light shade and we're making it fierce. From the corner of the eye, yoink. This is how we do it. We're taking the lightest shade, which is this one here, putting it on the mobile lid. Does make a fair bit of difference. Guys, call me crazy, but I'm actually doing something fun with the eyeliner today. You're crazy, bitch. First things first, I'm the realist. We are going into this gold metallic double happiness Napoleon gel eyeliner. We're going to create a really thick wing liner. It's easy because we've got that concealer there. You can just follow it. It's not easy, I'm just trying to give you confidence. And now I'm just packing it on so it's really totes obs. Now clean your brush off. Now we're getting the black. looking pretty good. Phew.
And next we are taking a blue pencil eyeliner and we are heavily water watering the, no, lining the waterline. And then we are taking this bright blue eyeshadow called Blue Crush. Such a good old movie, that one. What a great film. Just taking an angle brush and setting it with that. And now I'm taking MAC Nylon to highlight the inner corners of the eye the best in a corner highlight. For lashes today, I'm using the Napoleon Dahlias. I don't know what lip to do with this. You're all saying nude, I can hear it from here. A good tip I highly recommend is to keep in a little bag inside your little bag, scissors, tweezers, and eyelash glue. You will thank yourself for the rest of your life if you do that because those things are so small and you lose them all the time. And for mascara, I'm using the Max Factor Masterpiece High Definition. Okay, so you wanna come in from up above. I hate it when there's glue on the tweezers and they just won't let go. Moving on to the lippies. I like to get my beauty blender in. Just get any lip balm off. Your powder brush and make it a matte finish. So I'm taking Napoleon Pinot Noir. So fancy. You want an ombre lip, so I'm gonna color in the edges with this. And for a liquid lipstick, I'm using the Revlon Ultra HD Matte Lip Color. It is gorgeous. This does not have, well, I'm sure it does have a name, but I peeled the sticker off the back because I hate stickers. So, sorry, I don't have the name. Just blending it into the lip liner. Do you guys love it? I love it. And it's really lightweight. It just feels a bit velvety when it's on. It definitely is not drying. And I wore it out to dinner last night and it stayed really well. So just a quick spritz of the MAC Fix Plus to set everything in place. It's never quick. From what she said. And dab it into place. And we're done. Let me know what you thought in the comments down below. And give it a thumbs up if you liked it. <laughs> and that's it. I'll see you next Friday night. Bye. in the comment section down below. Ooh. Oh, I don't need to actually have you guys zoomed in that much. It's not a very pretty angle. Camera crew, sort this out to overline the crap out of my lips. Should I contour my contour? Is my shadow really annoying you? I'm so sorry if it is. Guys, enjoy this tutorial. <laughs> It's like the only pretty color. <laughs> Revlon Ultra HD. I don't know why I say H, it's H. As soon as you touch that black, there's no going back. <laughs> My brows are never even, don't judge me.